<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video we're going to be, well, like I said before in the last one, kind of taking a look at something that I really don't cover here on the channel because this is going to be a sports game and I'm typically not a person who does play sports games, but I just thought this mod was really cool to the point where it would be worth showcasing here in this tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you all, if you have a modified PlayStation 3 console, how you can install the college football revamped mod for the game NCAA Football 14. Now, essentially what this does is this completely, well, as it says, revamps this game because there hasn't been a college football game, an NCAA football game here since the 2014 release. And it really brings it up to a, well, at the time I'm recording this, a 2021 standard. Now, I have covered this modification on the Xbox 360 already. So if you have a hard modded Xbox 360 and you're interested in checking it out, I will have a video link available in the description. However, if you have a modified PlayStation 3, this modification is available on there as well too. There's been a lot of really awesome work that's gone into it, and we're just going to get right into installing this. So first of all, you are going to need a few things. Of course, you're going to need your PlayStation 3 console, and it must be modified. It can be modified either using a full custom firmware, meaning that the system is modified in that state on cold boot, or you can have PS3 HIN installed. The instructions are going to be the exact same, except if you're using PS3 HIN, you are going to have to just enable HIN before we start this whole process. You're also going to, of course, need a copy of NCAA Football 14. I'm going to be using the disc-based version of it. There are instructions for a digital copy of it as well too, but since I have the disc for it, I'm going to be using the disc-based version of this, which I'm sure most people will be using. Finally, we are also going to need a USB drive at least 8 gigabytes in size in order to download a few files from our computer and transfer them over to that USB drive to then install on the PlayStation 3. So first of all, first things first, you are going to need that modified PlayStation 3. And if you have followed either of my tutorials showing how to either jailbreak a PS3 with full custom firmware or how to install PS3 HIN, you should be at about this space right here where you have your modified PlayStation 3 and you have Multiman already installed. We're going to be using Multiman for this and this is going to be able to allow us to install the game. So first of all here, if you have PS3 HIN, the only difference is going to be you will need to enable HIN if you have not done so. So for any PS3 HIN users, go ahead and enable this. If you have a full custom firmware, you do not have to do this step right here. Next up, you will have to take your NCAA football game, go ahead pop it into your PlayStation 3, and we're going to install it using Multiman. So go ahead and fire up your installation of Multiman. Once your Multiman fires up, go down to where NCAA football 14 is showing, press the triangle button, and then come up to copy. Press X, and we're just going to copy it to the internal hard drive. You can press X yet again, we're going to say yes to this, and then let it do its thing. Thankfully, this is a small enough game, but you're just going to need to give it some time to copy over. While all this is copying over, we can let it cook over on the PlayStation 3, and we're going to go over to our PC with a USB drive on hand. It is worth noting, if you already have the game backed up and you're just wanting to transfer it over to your PlayStation 3's internal hard drive, it should go into Dev Hard Drive 0 for the internal drive, and should go into the Games folder in its own folder just like this, just like any other game that would be backed up using Multiman. At this point, we're now going to need to download a couple files for College Football Revamped. Go to the link down below in the description for College Football Revamped, and it should bring you to the latest update. From here, you can just scroll down, and we're going to select our device, which is going to be the PlayStation 3. Next up, we're going to check out the download instructions for either the PSN store copy or the physical disk copy. If you're following along with this, you're probably going to be using the disk-based copy. If you want to kind of adjust this to the PSN store copy, you're more than welcome to, but that's not what this tutorial is going to be using. So just click on physical disk copy. Once you're over here, these are all the great written instructions for installing this, and if at any point you need something Thing that is written out if you're a little bit confused go ahead and give these once over everything is written over here pretty well but the main thing is we need to download two files we're going to come over here and there's part a and part b 
you just need to click on each of these files to download them and it should bring you to a download page in which you can just initiate the download here and save it somewhere you can easily find it. You have to download both files. Now fast forwarding a little bit because I've already downloaded them in preparation for this, you should have two package files and if you've modified your PlayStation 3 already, you should be familiar with these. This is a part A package file and a part B package file. They're each about three gigabytes in size. And again, you need the both of them to continue on with this. So once we have this downloaded, let's repair our USB drive. Now, first of all, our USB drive has to be FAT32. And if you're on Windows, you can right click your USB drive, go to properties and check the file system. Mine is already FAT32, but in case you need to format it, you can also just right click, go to format, Make sure any data you care about is backed up off of this drive. Quick format is fine, allocation size is fine, and select FAT32. It cannot be NTFS or XFAT, it has to be FAT32. Hit start, okay, and then easy enough right there, after a few seconds, it formats our drive. Now, if you're not able to format it from here, just straight up using Windows, or if you format this and it's not recognizing on your PlayStation 3, there's another program that we can use to format our drive. I'll show you that real quick. There's another program I like to use and recommend now called Rufus, and this is just going to make it much easier to format the USB drive in case it is bigger than 32 gigabytes in size, or if you have to change the partition scheme on here to MBR. I'll get into that real quick. But if you have to format using Rufus, you can just come down here and download either the full installable version or the portable version. For this, the portable version is just fine. Once you have Rufus downloaded, just go ahead, double click it and allow access. You might ask if you want to check for updates, that's up to you, I'm gonna say yes. And it should look a little something like this. So you'll need to pick your USB drive. From here, for boot selection, you wanna say non-bootable. And then for this, it's gonna be incredibly important. You have to pick MBR. Many times, if people format a large USB drive, it ends up being GPT, and it's not recognized by the PlayStation 3. It has to be MBR, and it has to be FAT32. So these are the two most important settings, MBR, FAT32. Once you have that all set up, make sure any data you care about is backed up. You can hit start, say OK, and just give it a few seconds. It's going to take a little bit longer than going through Windows, but this will work just fine. So there we go, once that's all formatted, we can hit close and our USB drive should be formatted. We can even double check this by right clicking the USB drive, going to properties and our file system is FAT32. So awesome, everything's looking good. Now this is going to be hopefully the easiest portion here. We can go into the USB drive and right in the root of this. So just right in the first portion of the USB drive here, we're going to copy over both files just like that we need to copy over part A and part B respectively. Again, both of these files are important to have and both of them are needed for college football revamped. Depending on the speed of your USB drive, this might take a bit. So that's why it helps to download and copy these over as we're installing the game on our PlayStation 3. All right, so after a few minutes, we should be almost done wrapping up here with copying the files over. Again, make sure both of those package files have been copied. Cannot stress that enough once that's all done. We can come back over here, right click, safely eject our USB drive, and now we're going to transfer it over to the PlayStation 3. Over at the PlayStation 3, you should hopefully be done at this point installing NCAA Football 14. So you can press the square button. And now at this point, when we come back to Multiman, there should be the disc-based version, as well as the copy installed on your hard drive. With all of that, we can go ahead and physically eject the game from our PS3 because we're no longer going to need that. We're not going to be playing this off the disc. If we're using the mod, we're really only going to be using the hard drive based copy here. So with that removed, we can go ahead, exit out of here, press the PlayStation button, and we're going to come back over to the XMB. Once we're back over at the XMB, plug in your USB drive if you haven't already and verify it is being recognized by your PlayStation 3. You can check that by going over to video or music, for example, and look for USB device. If it is recognizing, that is all good. So now come over to the package manager, go to install package files, go to standard, and we first want to install part A. So find part A and press X. Give this some time, it's now going to install the package file. All right, so it took me about 15 minutes, but that first part got installed. Once that's installed, press back, go right back to the package manager, install package files, standard, and now we're going to install part B. This should be the only other part that you have to install. Again, just wait some time for it to finish up. 
All right, at this point with part B installed, we should be all good to go. So you can go ahead back out of here and we can also remove our USB drive. Now with all of that removed, we just need to go back over to Multiman and launch it. Now, just like any other game you might have loaded up through Multiman, go down to NCAA Football 14, make sure it is the version that we installed to the internal hard drive and press X to load it up. Once you get kicked back to the XMB, go up to the new disc icon, but instead of NCAA Football 14, it should now show up as College Football Revamped, which is exactly what we are looking for. So without further ado, I mean, you're good at this point. Go ahead and launch College Football Revamped. Now, one big difference on the PlayStation 3 version is you might get prompted for a title update. Now, the Xbox 360 version does not work with the latest title update. However, this is 1.02, which seems to be the last title update for this game. And it actually seems to work for here, surprisingly. The cool thing is as well too, apparently on PlayStation 3, college football revamped installations can actually play online with one another. Now it is worth noting that if you're taking a game online like this that's modified, or even taking a modified console online, or especially both, you do always run the risk of a ban. So do keep that in mind. However, it is worth noting from the GitHub page, as a reminder, once you install this latest version that you installed of college football revamped, you'll not be able to play other users online unless they are also on that same version. The games will load up, but will likely crash when selecting certain plays. If you have friends or OD members without college football revamped, we recommend helping them install the update. So there you go. If you do have to install the latest title update, just wait a few minutes to download and patch this. So here we go. Once you have the title update applied and the game ends up booting back up, you should have NCAA Football 1.02 running with the latest college football revamped update here and you'll know that it took effect because it's obviously going to show college football revamped as opposed to NCAA football 14 but there we go that is about all there is to it I know it probably took a while to get to this point it might take I don't know about an hour of prep on here just because you do have to install the game get the two files downloaded transferred over and then installing them takes at least 30 minutes and you might still have to patch your actual game itself but once you have it all up and running it's pretty smooth sailing and really when it comes down to it there's not too much steps here they do call this an easy installer and thankfully aside from time on here it is a pretty easy installer and for that a big shout out and thank you to the college football revamped team not only for putting together this mod here and doing something incredibly awesome just bringing a older sports game like this to a 2021 and beyond standard and this goes beyond just a basic roster update i mean this is a huge over overhaul to the actual game itself some really cool stuff here uh, but on top of that also just making it pretty easy to install for modified playstation 3 users it's definitely great to see and i'd love to see some more mods like this that breathe life into older games for these systems anyways that is about it for this video here this is mr mario signing off Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.